and welcome to episode 12 of Worth the Wait. One, two! Well. <laughs> I'm here with my very capable co-host, Just Okay Wally. Hello. Let's jump right into it. Warp one, engage! My third round pick this week is Numzy. And this is a card game that's made by John Matthews. And he made this game sort of thinking about his his mom, who loves to play games, she loves spending time with her family, except she has trouble seeing now that she's getting a little bit more elderly. Bold colors, big numbers, big icons. And it's it's really targeting that audience of, of people who who really want to spend time with their loved ones but can't see as well. So this is like the phone the phone with oversized numbers version of a game. Yes, exactly. And what I love about this project is that the printing company that they are using is employing people with disabilities. Okay, on to mine. Okay, my pick is Zenzi Zenzik. Which Whoa, whoa, what is that? Zenzi Zenzik. Zenzi Zenzik? Yes. It is a labor of love by one guy who uh, started uh, dabbling with making games after come graduating, and now he's trying to see it come to a fru uh, true fruition. Through this a is really a feast for the eyes. Yeah, it's a two-stick, uh, fast-paced shooter, arcade style. It looks like a lot of fun. It's got nine days left. He's trying to make his uh, dreams kind of happen with this. I want him to help him do that. It looks like one of those games that you you die and then you say just one more go. Just one more go, and I love games like that. <laughs> Me too. I hate that I love them. Yeah. Sabertron is my second pick this week, Wally, and. The kid in me knows that the kid in you really wants to play with these. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> they, they are they're foam swords that um, score electronically whenever you, you hit your opponent. And how funny and amazing and just great and so well done is this commercial. Yeah, you need to check out the, the video. It's yeah, actually pretty it's, funny. Good comedic timing. It's and really nice. Really great editing. And to answer everyone's question about how does it know, it's got the same motion technology as like they have in cell phones and stuff, so it can actually tell between a body blow and a two bats hitting each other. Exactly, it's about the acceleration. To get a little technical. But... <laughs> <laughs> My number two pick this week is Tall Tales Puzzle Adventure. It's really cute, it's meant to reinforce ideas of wise pet ownership, and they use uh, dogs that need homes. Uh, as, a, as the theme for in this kind of fantasy realm, and it's just really adorable. And at the end of each level, they have a little a tip about dog care and everything. And it's, as you can see, it's designed for casual people who may not have as much time as they once did. This looks this looks great. It's a, it's a really cute, simple idea that has a has a really honest underlying message to it. My number one pick this week, Wally, is Pan the Game. It's got this really, this really nice art style to it. This really, really well-made look, and it's it's a um, it's a 2D rhythmic action-like adventure game. Good music is what makes half these indie games get their atmosphere. So I think it, if that's a huge selling point, I'm interested. Exactly, and I I've gone and listened to every single track that they have, and it's just these really cool, really easy to f sort of follow beats that both sound very fluid and really pump you up as you're playing. Okay, cool. Check it out. Uh, my number one pick this week is Sumo Boy, and uh, it follows the exploits of a young lad who is an orphan, and uh, he discovers he's the inheritor of a much more uh, important and profound mystical legacy. The motif of the game is used as a message metaphor for anti-bullying, because he has power within him that he so slowly starts to uncover, and how he chooses to wield that power and do battle against evil minions in order to help his mother that he recently discovered he had uh, is kind of leads to an ultimate truth. Uh, and I, I really do like kind of the, the, the tie-in to the Asian culture uh, with the sumo and everything. Wow, so you really, you really came at us with the hard-hitting messages this week, Wally, and I came at us with sticks. Well... <laughs> <laughs> but I guess if you like that sort of thing, you can please, please follow us on Facebook and YouTube slash JustOKCamers, and you can follow Wally and I on Twitter at JustOKCaters and JustOKWally. And not forgetting to check out our main website, JustOKGamers.com, which has so much more content. We can't wait to see you guys next week. See ya. Bye.